سي ان اس تيومر The CNS tumor, one of the most important pathological lectures, concerns with an CNS pathology. The incidence of CNS tumor is in general low, but it's most common in children rather than in adults. In children, it constitutes about 20% of all of the tumor, with the predilections in a posterior fossa, while in adults, it's lower than this percent and most commonly in supratentorial area. The tumor of the nervous system differs from the tumor elsewhere in the body by some points where we will discuss it uh, below the first one is the tumor of the CNS is a low grade tumor that is to say it's uh, required an, a long time to be uh, metastasized uh, or to be in an increase in its size uh, and maybe diffusely if infiltrated into the large area in the brain with an a silent uh, sometimes silent sign and symptoms that's associated with a poor prognosis as you know when the tumor is is appear uh, uh, more largely and uh, more uh, symptoms it's uh, uh, maybe uh, apparent into the patient and into the uh, and into the doctors uh, earlier and the earlier interference and earlier management in the tumor is an essential step while when the tumor it's uh, take a long time and uh, with a low grade uh, with a diffuse infiltrated uh, less it's discovered it's maybe we reach into the in a point that are uh, become more aggressive and this the interference resectability will be affected the anatomical size of a tumor is can be affected the prognosis that's clear as some area in the brain is a vital area as in the brain stem so any tumor in this is maybe lethal and also some area it's maybe cause an uh, an a more uh, disability in the into the patient uh, like uh, paralysis like blindness uh, and this is affecting also in a, a, a resectability uh, as it can be resectable cannot be resectable uh, uh, can be excess some of the tumor associated with or many uh, uh, associated with increased intracranial pressures and this uh, uh, make the interference and the operations is uh, a highly risk key into the patients. Even the mostly highly malignant gliomas is really metastasized outside. The CNS, it is an home for an a secondary metastasis and uh, and it's an, a common home for this type of metastasis. While the primary CNS tumor, it is really metastasized outside. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's from CNS, uh, 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 that's to say uh, the tumor of the brain metastasized to the spinal cord, the uh, tumor of the spinal cord metastasized into the brain. However, the subarachnoid space does provide a pathway for spread, so the seeding along the brain and spinal cord can be occur. This picture shows that the distributions of CNS tumor. Most an, uh, tumor of the CNS is adult is a secondary metastasis. As we say, uh, uh, that the CNS is an home for secondary metastasis as the most common type of the tumor affecting the CNS in general is a secondary metastasis rather than the primary metastasis. The uh, uh, cause or the primary site of this secondary mostly from the lung, from the skin, from the brace, and the primary tumors mostly from supratentorial tumor. Right? The most common type is an astroma, gliomas, and meningiomas. As we say that, as we said that the tumor of the CNS, it is more prevalent in children and a 20% prevalence. So it is a second most common tumor after the leukemia and lymphoma. Uh, and it's mostly in infratentorial area. It's an astrocytoma, cystic type, cerebellar type, medullary blastoma, hydrocephalus, and meningeal spread one of the most common tumor of the primary sense tumor is like gliomas 
The gliomas divided into the astrocytoma, oligodendrogliomas, and ependymomas. The most common type is a highly infiltrative or a diffuse gliomas. It includes astrocytic oligodendroglial uh, and mixed forms. In, contra in contrast, ependymomas, which tend to be formed in a solid mass. Astrocytomas. The astrocytomas, the most common type of this are fibrillary and pilocystic astrocytomas. This nomenclature is come from an picture under microscope. The fibrillary, it's related into fibrillary background appearance of an a tumor cell. And pilocystic astrocytomas. The fibrillary astrocytomas accounted about 80% of adult primary tumor. So it's more common in adult and it's more uh, uh, rather than Children, they are most frequent in the age 30 to 60 years. Uh, their usual locations is a cerebellar hemisphere. They show a spectrum of uh, histological differentiations that correlated well with the clinical course and outcome. Based on degree of differentiations, the astrocytoma has been grading into an many grade. The degree of differentiation of the grades is mean the degree of similarity of the tumor cell into the cell of origin. So the grades one it is more similar into the cell of origin, and when the grade is increased, the similarity into this cells is, has been lost. That is to say, the histological features of this cells uh, uh, may be not resembled of cell of origin. The grade 2, which is an astrocytoma, infiltrative astrocytoma, WHO grade 2, uh, B, and a plastic astrocytoma, WHO grade 3, a glioblastoma multiform, WHO grade 4. For well differentiated astrocytoma, which are slow growing, the mean survival is more than 5 years. The prognosis of a glioblastoma it is very poor. That is to say, the mean survival 8 to 10 months despite of a treatment. Discovery of the novel mutations of isocitrate dehydrogenase 1 and 2 provided a new biomarker as point of stratifications of the gliomas based on a prognosis and a treatment response. This is an, a picture will show uh, a picture uh, A will show a gross uh, uh, cut sections in the uh, brain tissue, the presence of an a mass uh, that uh, extended into the white matter of the left cerebral hemisphere with a thickens of corpus callosum and furnaces, obliterations of a ventricular space. The pictures B denoted that the glioblastoma, which is appear as a necrotic area, has been on hemorrhages on hemorrhage and filtrative mass. Picture C, that means the microscopical examinations of a glioblastoma, that's to say in grade 4, show the densely cellular tumor with a necrotic cytopalisading of a tumor cells denoted mostly in the center of the view with some area of hemorrhage has been also seen. Astrocytoma, gross pathological, the glow grade infiltrative astrocytoma, poorly defined gray infiltrative mass uh, lesions that lead into the expand and distortions of affecting regions of the brain. Cut surface of tumors, either firm, soft, gelatinous, so the appearance of the uh, tumor cells, it vary from area to area. It may be white, uh, firm, or may be soft cystic lesions uh, or gelatinous uh, uh, substance, it can be seen. Glioblastoma, variations in the degree and the gross appearance of the tumor from region to region is a characteristic. Some areas are firm and some areas are soft. Yellow uh, mean a liquefactive necro, uh, uh, necrosis and uh, yet other show regions of cystic degeneration and hemorrhage. This is a gross pictures and a cut in exogenous uh, biopsy uh, will show the insidious uh, permeations of the brain tissue typically in fibrillary astrocytoma suited in the, this anterior temporal lobectomy specimen. So gyrus is, has been denoted in the right, maintained clearly, demarcated on the cortical robins over uh, the digita, digitate white matter. Moving into the left, uh, there is an a diffuse a diffuse gyral expansion and effacement of this landmark refractory tumor infiltrations no discrete mass is formed as we know that it's infiltrative so there is no clear cut boundaries of the mass has been so in this 
view characterized by low grade expansion and there is no evidence of hemorrhage or necrosis has been seen. And a gross picture cut surface in the brain tissue will show the presence of the mass in the right uh, side of a uh, cerebral hemisphere, which is a large mass with ill-defined border. Some area of necrosis has been glistening in appearance. The worst possible form of the gliomas, a glioblastoma multiform. The uh, new plasms are quite vesicular with a prominent area of necrosis and hemorrhage. How this one has crossed the midline into the opposite side, some the, uh, small areas into the opposite line with necrosis and hemorrhage has been present. Microscopically, the low-grade infiltrative astrocytoma characterized by mild to moderate increased number of glial cells, slightly in nuclear permorphism. All of us uh, know the microscopical features of a malignant cells in general, which is uh, pleomorphism, loss of similarity, high NC ratio, an increase of the uh, in, in nucleus, uh, prominent nucleus, uh, and an intervening framework of the fine G5, FAP, positive astrocytes cell process thus give the background of filari the name of biliary astrocytoma it's come from this prominent GFA positive interlacing process of an astrocytic cells give an affability background the anaplastic astrocytoma it's are more densely cellular with a great nuclear pleomorphism with an increased mitosis has been obvious glioblastoma which is the more anaplastic type which is a more aggressive type it's half of a historical appearance similar into the anaplastic astrocytoma additional feature there is necrosis that means the turnover of the and tumor cells is become when the tumor it's become necrosis so the turnover of the NS cells is become more prominent and leads into the death of the cell and the necrosis surrounding by pseudo palisadic nucleus and or prominent vesicular endothelial cell refractions a microscopical pictures will show a fibrillary background and a prominent features of a fibrillary astrocytoma with the presence of a rich fibrillary background, pleomorphic cells with different size, different shape of the cells, it has been seen uh, only of a modest hyperchromasia, absence of the mitosis. There is no prominent increased mitotic figure. The increased mitotic figure uh, can be seen in a glioblastoma more than of infiltrative uh, type. Uh, with uh, there is no necrosis and vascular endothelial hyperplasia. Microscopical feature of the glioblastoma look into the differences between the previous pictures and this picture. The cellularity is in increased. The basophilic hue of the views has been more increased. An increase of the pleomorphism, mitotic activity seen in some area. Pseudo palisading formations of the tumor is prominent into the center and some area of a hemorrhage with an, uh, a background or uh, the presence of an RBC within of the tumor cells uh, denoted that there is an, a hemorrhage necrosis is can be seen. Pyelocystic astrocytoma, WHO grade 1, are relatively benign tumor. It's often cystic that typically occur in children and in young adults and usually located in the cerebellum. In the cystic variations, there is usually a mural nodal in the wall of the cyst. The tumor composed of the area of bipolar cells with long, thin hair-like process with GFA positive. Rosenthal fiber, which is the presence of eosophilic fiber, granular fibers and of the micro cysts are often present this is a prominent feature one of the a prominent characteristic features of pyrocystic astrocytoma the presence of the entire fiber necrosis and mitosis are absent microscopical picture will show a pyelocystic like of needle needles a pyelocyte background that is different from an fibrillary background that caused by uh, that seen in the fibrillary astrocytoma pyelocystic astrocytoma very form rosenthal fiber line along there is outside uh, otherwise delicate and hairy like cytoplasmic process for which pyelocyte astrocytoma is, has been named Oligodendroglioma are most common in 30 to 50 years old. It is mostly located in the white matter, cerebral hemisphere. The prognosis it is better than astrocytoma. Oligodendrogliomas are infiltrative gelatinous gray, while the astrocytoma, some is firm, some of its gelatinous, some is cystic, while the oligodendroglioma is mostly infiltrative gelatinous gray mass. 
with L-defined vortex. The tumor is composed of the sheets of regular cells with of the spherical vesicular nucleus surrounded by the clear halo. That appear uh, like the cells uh, lie within a lacun, within a vacuole. And it is typically contained of the delicate network of anastomosing capillary, chicken wire, type vasculature. Calcifications are frequently present and the range from microscopical fossa into the mass depositions of the anacarism and marked the calcifications. Most of one of the most important features, the characteristic of oligodendrogliomas from other of type of the tumor is the presence of an adhesion of the chromosome 1P, short arm chromosome 1 and in the 19Q, alter and uh, typically occur together. The current WHO classification is the grade of oligodendrogram to two different forms uh, into anaplastic intro, anaplastic WHO uh, 2, and uh, anaplastic WHO grade uh, 3, which is the prominent mitotic activity and microvasculator endothelial proliferation. There are two features define anaplastic tumor, oligodendrogliomas, more aggressive subtypes, as it's a highly dense in nuclear anaplasia with a mitotic activity. Microscopical picture show the presence of sheets of uniform cells similar uh, in appearance with the presence of vesicular in the nucleus around the nuclear nuclei and the presence of the nuclei in the prenuclear halo, like a lacun, like a, a bag that containing the nucleus, typically well differentiated oligodendrogliomas. Uh, the presence of the delicate network of anastomosis capillaries has been denoted clearly in the slide. Ependymoma most often is, uh, is arise next into the ependymal line of ventricular system and include of the central canals and spinal cord in the two first decade of life. It is typically present and more prominent and mostly occur in a fourth ventricle. In adults, it's more prominent in a spinal cord. Because of ependymoma usually grow within the ventricle, the CSF disseminated, it is common and uh, present. The tumor composed of cells it is rounded, uh, oval, elongated regular in nuclei between the nuclei there is of the fibrillary background the tumor it's maybe form a rounded elongated structure like a rosette along delicate uh, pre-exist lumen of the blood vessels and this denoted and give rise into the acido rosette appearance which is more prominent and more arranged in around the uh, blood vessels which the tumor cells arrange around the blood vessels with intervening zone composing of ependymal abscess this is of the pictures of an acido rosette is has more prominent there is uh, three patches uh, or three sides show the presence of the acido rosette look into the uh, the pictures or the features of the nuclear the nucleus is around it around it with a vesicular nucleus but it's around uh, the uh, arranged around the existing blood vessels give rise into the acido rosette appearance a neural a tumor central in neurocytomas it is a low grade neural neoplasm that is typically but not exclusively a periventricular lesions it's found within adjacent the ventricular system most commonly in lateral and third ventricle and is characterized by evenly spaced rounded uniform nuclei and of the islet of the neutrophil gangliomas it's a tumor with a mixture of glial eminent and uh, ganglioma, looking like a low-grade astrocytoma and mature appearance in Europe. Most of these tumors are low grade. Also, we have an amadulloblastoma and a type of the neural tumor. It is occur predominantly in children, exclusively in a cerebellum, and this is one of the important features when there is an a tumor in children in the cerebrum uh, giving uh, to our minds the possibility of medulloblastoma which is very high this is a highly malignant tumor which is a radio sensitive and this uh, features is an um, important prominent features uh, as in some of the tumor it's uh, difficult to be accessed and difficult to be resected so when it's radio sensitive it is uh, give an uh, uh, a chance for an a treatment uh, by a radiations with an, a good prognosis but without the treatment the prognosis is poor in children the tumor located typically in a midline of the cerebellum and it is often well circumscribed gray fibrillary tumor medulla blastoma is are extremely cellular a sheet of undifferentiated small cell with a scanty cytoplasm and hyperchromatic pleomorphic nuclei mitosis is present in a highly percent some 
show a differentiated along a neural line of form of the hammer white uh, hammer right roseate appearance the latter consists of the tumor cells and nuclei de deposed in the cellular fashions about the tangled cytoplasmic process this is a microscopical picture of medulloblastoma, presence of a uniform small cell and differentiated looking like cells with a little cytoplasm overcrowded with a basophilic hue that is prominent into the inner picture resulted from a scanty cytoplasm. A few cytoplasm uh, hue, eosinophilic hue can be seen. Other of the parenchymal tumor, we have primary central nervous system lymphoma. It's rare, but are most common in neoplasm in immunosuppressive patients, in AIDS patients, in, the, in transplanted recipient patients. Under these circumstances, the blamed one is the an Epstein Barr virus, is blamed behind the development of this type of the tumor. Most of this tumor are diffused large B cell lymphomas. Gem sums tumor, it is occur along the midline, mostly common in the penile. And and supracellular regions. There are tumor of young with 90% occurring during the first decade of life. In the penile lesions, it show a strong male predominance, histological classifications of brain germ cells, tumor similar to that seen in the testes, but the CNS equivalent of the te testicular seminomas is called germinoma. It should be noted, however, that the CNS involved by a gonadal germ cell tumor is not included. One of the most important, uh, one of the most important subjects in a CNS tumor, we have an meningiomas, predominantly benign tumor, but it may be a malignant in some atypical variant of meningioma. It is a benign tumor of adult in a predominant fashion. It arises from meningoglial cells of the arachnoids and are usually attached into the tumor. Meningiomas it may be found along any of the external surface of the brain as well as within the ventricular system, where they arise from stromal arachnoid cells or choroid plexus. This causes symptoms resulted from compressions, mass effect from an underlying mass, and when the mass is increased, the symptom is more obvious and more prominent. Multiple meningiomas, especially in associated with the eight nerve cell schwannoma and glial tumor, it may be a part of a neurofibromatosis type 2. About half of meningiomas not associated with this type of syndrome, but it still have mutations and a few neurofibromatosis type 2 gene. Grossly, it appears as well-defined neural mass, uh, and this uh, point is an important point. Uh, when the tumor cells is well-defined border, so the excision is become more easier than the ill-defined border. Uh, well-defined mass uh, that is composed of underlying uh, compress of underlying brain tissue, uh, but are easily separated from it. Uh, on sections, uh, most meningiomas is grayish tan and soft collagenous, uh, collagenous example. However, half of the barberry texture are all the trabecular cut surface. Calcifications may be in part in the greatest sensations on cutting. Extension into the overlining bone, it may be but this is a gross picture will show the brain tissue covered by a meninges and the mass attached into the meninges. Uh, the mass is roughly spherical and circumscribed, well defined, mass uh, reddish to yellow, firm, and located beneath the tumor, extended into the fast therapy and the superior parasitical locations in the vicinity of the superior sagittal sinus. Is it quite common? Note that the meninges has a, have an, a mass effect into the underlying brain tissue, compress the underlying a brain tissue. Microscopical features uh, uh, menin uh, meningioma uh, classify into the four types according into the appearance of the cells. Number one is syncytial meningothelial cells. It's half of the aroid clusters of the tightly group of the cells within visible cell membrane, fibrocystic within of the elongated cell and abundant collagen deposition between them, transitional with a share feature between of the syncytial or fibroplastic type, so mama toes by the presence of the soma mama bodies so mama bodies which is in uh, condensations uh, eosinophilic mass has been present in some of the tumor one of these tumor is a meningioma when this is present it's denoted as a somatose 
variant of a meningioma. This is the microscopical picture of syncytious meningiomas. Look into the cells. The cells is distributed in plump pink cells. A small amount of the brownish granular hemosiderin is highly been with mostly of the cells is elongated, rounded, vesicular, and nuclei has been present. Atypical meningiomas show a high rate of a recurrent and more aggressive uh, local growth. They are recognized by several historical features, include a high mitotic rate and a plastic malignant meningiomas, highly aggressive tumor, resemble that high grade sarcomas. Although most meningiomas is, are especially separated from underlying brain, some tumor infiltrative so that the, uh, the resectability and the excision of the tumor it is difficult and the presence of the brain invasive is associated with increased risk of parents. One of uh, uh, common uh, tumor affecting the CNS is a metastatic tumor. The first common type of the tumor affecting the CNS is a metastatic rather than a primary tumor. Metastatic lesions is mostly uh, accounted for 25 to 50% of intracranial tumor. We have uh, an, a five common type in, uh, from the lung, from the breast, from the skin, from the kidney, from the GIT, the meningioma. Uh, the meninges are it's the most frequent site it has been involved by metastasis in the brain, a sharply demarcated mass. Uh, the differentiations between the primary and secondary. In the primary, the one lesion, sometimes a second lesion. But in uh, um, a secondary metastasis, it's a period of tumors are studied by an, a multiple foci of, uh, of an, uh, tumor cells. And the foci have the features of uh, site of origins. It's mostly in the gray matter, white matter junction, usually surrounded by zone of edema. The boundary between the tumor and the brain parenchyma is well defined microscopically, as well as surrounding reactive gliosis. Additional into the direct and local effect uh, by the tumor by secondary metastasis, we have an paraneoplastic syndrome that the syndrome is, has been associated with the tumor. It is not related into the uh, a tumor, a primary tumor itself, but it is uh, uh, related into the uh, predispositions of the uh, other mediator or other substance will cause this sign and symptom may be involved of the peripheral and central nervous system. Some of the more common uh, patterns include subacute cerebellar degenerations uh, resulted in ataxia, destructions uh, of Parkinson's gliosis and mild inflammatory infiltrations. Limbic encephalitis, which is cause of the subacute dementia with of the perivesicular inflammatory cell. Microglial nodules, some of the neural loss and the gliosis all centrated in the medial temporal loop. This is a uh, uh, gross picture in the cut surface in the brain tissue will show the presence of the multiple studded lesions with the viral, with the very incise, various in locations uh, uh, distinguished grossly from a primary. That the primary have an assam, one large uh, tumor, but the secondary is multiple with very inside, mostly small to moderate inside the tumor. And the tumor nodule in this case is characterized uh, is the most malignant melanomas. Uh, this is come from an, a dark appearance of this mass. A metastasis uh, breast carcinoma in CNS show the presence of a papillary structure with a central core of vesicular of the vascular connective tissue and outer layer of the large cuboidal and columnar cells. Secondary tumor tend to be have histological feature of the tumor of its origin rather than the tumor when has been studied. Subacute sensory and neuropathy leads into the alterations in the pain sensation with loss of sensory neurons from the dorsal root ganglia associated with inflammation syndrome of the rapid onset psychosis, catatonia, epilepsy, and coma associated with ovarian teratoma and antibody against and methyl D aspartate receptors syndrome. Tumor of peripheral nerve. Schwannomas. It is encapsulated by phasic nerve sheet tumor derived from Schwann cells with a highly ordered cells. Components of Antony A, that is palisades, um, the rocky B bodies, plus myxoid components, which is Antony B. So, it has biphasic two components. Antony A, which is a palisades, and myxoid, which is an Antony B. Age is mostly in 20 to 50 years old. It's equal in male, male and female distributions. 
Microscopically, biophase components of the hypercellular Antony air area with a mixoid, some arrange in uh, uh, Antony A in palisading appearance. Mixoid hypocellularities Antony B area are maybe absent in small tumor. Only the Antony A has, has been formed. Cells are narrow, elongated, wavy, tapered, end and interspaced with of the collagen fiber. Nuclear palisading around the capillary process, the rocky body is are often seen in a cellular areas. Large irregularity space vessels are most prominent in Antony B area, which is tortuous with thickened, hyalized wall and may have from. This is a gross pictures of the tumor which show a yellow glistening mass, well demarcated mass, cutting excisional biopsy. There is no necrosis and hemorrhage obviously has been seen. Microscopical pictures will show the bivasic schwannomas, the prominent Antony A in the center with a palisading pattern's appearance, elongated uh, spherical cells it has been seen, and the Antony B is a mixoid with some of these cells it has been prominent within this picture. A neurofibromas. It is a benign common tumor, multiple tumor associated with a neurofibromatosis type 1 2. It is an encapsulated tumor proliferated of all elements of peripheral H1 cells with wire like collagen fibril wavy separated nuclei pointed at. Citromal and muco substance, tactile, corpocosal, axonal fibroblast, and collagen. Perineural cells is a plexiform type. No the rocky bodies and no nuclear parasitic with no hyalinization this is to be differentiated from the schwannoma in which that the rocky bodies palisadic patterns by phasic palisading find this hyalinization related into the palisading is more prominent in the schwannoma but in the neurofibroma this not be seen across pictures show an a mass non-capsulated mass uh, with uh, uh, no area of uh, uh, appear firm uh, with uh, no hemorrhage has been obviously present microscopical pictures of neurofibromas will show there is a presence of an a cell There is a wire collagen fiber, a wavy separated nuclei prominent eight citroma a muco substance is has been a presence with of the and a uh, some area of the vesicular is has been a prominent a plexiform cells and the presence of elongated cells is has been more demonstrated in this uh, uh, slide. This is the last slide on uh, our lectures. Any other questions? Uh, I'm um, I'm ready to be answered to you, and I hope that it's uh, have an uh, um, a good uh, a good clear lectures. And thank you for your nice listen.